Now, let's bring you some more on the McCartney divorce settlement. We were hearing earlier it'll be delivered later today in the High Court. Aisha Vardag is a divorce lawyer who's handled a number of very high-profile cases. She joins us this morning. Hello to you. Good Thanks morning. very much for coming in. Um, we were hearing that because this has been held in private, we might not ever know how much uh, Heather Mills is going to get, although the newspapers seem to be suggesting over the weekend is going to be about 25 million. Does that sound right to you? Yes. I mean, uh, the reality is we are, whether the judgment's properly published or not, the likelihood is that we'll find out because people will gossip and, uh, you know, the, it's, it's all as leaky as a sieve. But I, in terms of a 25 million settlement, I, I've been saying throughout maybe 25 to 35 million. I think that it's quite possible that it will be at the lower end of that band, partly because Heather Mills chose to represent herself, which, uh, which just shows really the way that the courts work. Because so you're saying that if she, if she had a, mm. a solicitor or a lawyer, she might have got a bit more. You it's would say quite, that, well, though, I, I would say that, <laughs> being a lawyer. But, uh, but it's because sometimes people don't quite understand how it works. It's not all about an impassioned presentation of one's story. It's not all about being persuasive and charismatic. There's a lot of it that's very boring financial forensic accountancy, weighing up this and that mm -hmm. and arguing different concepts. So how does a judge make a decision then? Well, um, first of all, they have to look at what's available, and that's where things like forensic accountancy evidence come in if uh, it's it's rumored that uh, Sir Paul is uh is found to have had a lot less than the 800 that was always, always rumoured, and it was clever accountancy evidence that pulled that off. That's the rumour. So if forensic accounting case, is just going through everything with... with going through, looking with at valuations, yeah. Okay. Um, weighing up different valuations. Heather Mills won't have been in a position really to counter that herself. She'll have been able to tell her story, but she won't have been able to counter expert evidence. And that's the sort of problem that you run into when you're trying to do it yourself. You, you sort of fall by a lot of these, these, um, th these duller aspects of divorce, but which carry a huge amount of weight. The judge will have had to ascertain, to some extent, what's there. Although not in the way that you would if this were a carving up the assets case. In a long marriage, you're looking at the whole pot and trying to share that out. Because this is a short marriage and she wasn't there from the beginning, it's really just focusing on what her needs were and her needs in looking after Beatrice, and right. for Beatrice. And um, the settlement, if it is around 25 million, is what mm. the judge would have decided she's going to need to give her a fresh start and right. get her going again. Will part of it be about as well, um, she's, she's had a very nice life with Paul McCartney and he will say that uh, she needs money to... Yeah, absolutely. Because she's been accustomed to a nice life. To, That's right. To make sure that she gets the same kind of life. Is that fair, do you think, in a divorce case? It's one of those funny things because, uh, yes, I mean, 25 million on a needs basis, it seems extraordinary for most people. But, I don't know, it's, uh, you get into a moral question of, um, of whether you should be entitled to go along with what you're entitled, with what you've been used to, whether there's a, an element of expectation that has to be met. Um, it's, it's rather like people going to prison and whether, whether people who are, you know, white collar and have vast amounts of money should have different prisons from, uh, from people who, who, are, who are used to a, to a harder sort of life. And it's almost a philosophical question, but it's definitely the way the courts work. They'll base the award for her needs on, to a great extent, what she's been used to and staff and mm. drivers and lovely houses and all the rest of it. Lovely. Aisha, thanks very much for coming in.